Well, Minnesota's Muslim community is inviting everyone to join them for a holiday celebration tomorrow at U.S. Bank Stadium. But as the word has spread on social media, so have claims about what the event is all about. We asked Danny Spiewak to verify to separate fact from fiction. Danny? Well, Julie, tomorrow's event is called Super Eid. Organizers say around 25,000 people have tickets so far to attend the prayers and the carnival. And organizers say they're not going to let false social media posts overshadow their celebration. Eid is for everybody. Eid is for everybody. That's the motto organizers like Imam Assad Zaman want you to remember this year. We are inviting our non-Muslim allies and friends to come be with us. The Super Eid event at U.S. Bank Stadium is named for Eid Awudha the festival that commemorates the sacrifice of Prophet Abraham and coincides with the Hajj pilgrimage to Mecca. Eid events have been held for years, including some at the Minneapolis Convention Center. But this year, organizations teamed up to create one large event at the same venue that hosted the Super Bowl. It's exciting, also challenging, because this is the first time we have done this kind of, uh, you know, uh, big event in uh, U.S. Bank Stadium. The size of the event has made it a target for inaccurate social media posts. One tweet retweeted nearly 2,000 times claimed there would be animal sacrifices at the stadium. Organizers say that's completely untrue. Another tweet from a verified account called this a Muslim Brotherhood display, referring to the activist group founded in Egypt. But that's not true either. The Minneapolis event is organized by a local coalition of mosques. Well, I think the best way to counter the, the ignorance and the fear is by showing up. So anybody who is afraid of Muslims, you are welcome, please come over. They are welcome to come be with us because I think it will reduce their fear and it will increase their understanding. It's good for them. The people who are bent out of shape uh, are doing it to themselves and they're really not having an impact on us. The prayer sessions inside the stadium tomorrow are free and doors open at 7 a.m. And the carnival afterward, which includes activities like rock climbing and laser tag, uh, will cost $15 per ticket. Back to you, Julie. All right. Thank you, Danny.